This is a really long, complex, important question. Regarding actor goals, some people believe that you shouldn't make goals that are obvious, like book a supporting role or book a co-starring role, because these goals are technically not under the actor's control. And other people say it's okay to write these kinds of goals out because it can be motivating and it can make you push yourself and create habits that are then helpful in getting you closer to making these bookings. So what do I feel about this? That's the question. Well, I think you've just actually given two ends of the spectrum in your question, which is brilliant, because both of those things are true in my mind. I think finding a balance in your, as Richard and I always say, practice, patience, and persistence, if you find a balance between those three things, that is the best approach to achieving any goal. And I think that there are philosophical goals as a creative artist, and there are also pragmatic goals that one has as a creative artist. So if philosophically I were to recommend um, like my specific goals, or even if I were an actor, what the goals would be to better my craft every day. That applies to me as a producer, as a casting director, whatnot, to better my craft, to make genuine connections, whether that is fellow producers, casting directors, whether that's actors, whether that is, you know, the shop owner when we're shooting somewhere, to make genuine connections. That's a big part of, I think, why we as film artists do what we do, because it's a collaborative art form. We wouldn't be in a collaborative art form if we didn't like making connections. Uh, to support my community, my community of fellow film artists, my community, the town where I live, etc. These are all philosophical goals in my opinion. And lastly, to help create a creative vision, to help create a creative vision, whether it's my own creative vision, whether it's someone else's creative vision. And then I would say some of my pragmatic goals, and perhaps an actor in particular would have these, not me, um, would be get new headshots, take a class, practice self-taping, watch the shows or films that are going to, you know, to be in my area or already filming in my area, um, join, maybe to join the union, and maybe part of that, maybe one of those pragmatic goals is to book a co-star role or to book a guest star role or to book a leading role or to book any role that's a principal or to get an extra job or a background job. and. All of those are absolutely legitimate, wonderful goals to have. I think that all of them combined is what the key is. Because if you're only focused on one, and that is to book a co-starring role, then it's out of balance. And then you're not a holistic film artist. And I think that's where that kind of negative um, opinion comes where, oh no, that's not a reasonable goal, it's out of your control. Well, you know what? Goals aren't in your control. That's why they're goals. That's why they're dreams and aspirations. And why not dream big? You just might achieve it.